This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at energy density and specific energy of fuels. A fuel is a substance that releases energy when it undergoes a chemical or nuclear reaction. The specific energy of a fuel is the energy produced per unit mass. Specific energy is equal to the energy released from the fuel divided by the mass of the fuel consumed. The energy density of a fuel is the energy produced per unit volume. Energy density is equal to the energy released from the fuel divided by the volume of fuel consumed. Let's look at an example. Propane, which is C3H8, has a density of 0.493 grams per centimeter cubed. The standard enthalpy of combustion of propane is negative 2219 kilojoules per mole. Calculate the specific energy and energy density of propane. The molar mass of propane is 44.1 grams per mole. So first we'll calculate the specific energy of propane. Specific energy is equal to the energy released by the fuel, which is the same as the enthalpy change of combustion value, divided by the mass of fuel, which is the same as the molar mass. This gives us a specific energy of 50.3 kilojoules per gram. Next, we'll calculate the energy density. The energy density is equal to the energy released by the fuel, which is the same as the enthalpy change of combustion value, divided by the volume of the fuel. To calculate the volume of fuel, divide its molar mass by its density. This gives us an energy density of 24.8 kilojoules per centimeter cubed. And finally, we'll compare the specific energy and energy density of different fuels. In this table, we have uranium, hydrogen, natural gas, petrol, which is mainly octane, coal, and wood. Starting with uranium, we can see it has a very high specific energy and also a very high energy density. This means that uranium is a very effective fuel. Next, we have hydrogen, which has a relatively high specific energy, but a low energy density. Natural gas, petrol and coal, which are all fossil fuels, have relatively high specific energies. With the exception of natural gas, they also have relatively high energy densities. And finally, we have wood, which has a relatively low specific energy and energy density. The higher the energy density of the fuel, the more energy may be stored or transported for the same amount of volume. If we compare petrol and hydrogen, which are both used as fuels in automobiles, we can see that although hydrogen has a higher specific energy than petrol, it has a much lower energy density, which is an important factor when choosing a fuel for automobiles.